In this video, I'll show you how to launch your first Instagram ad. So the first step is to create a Facebook business page. To create a business page, I will use my personal account because it's easier to access my page and share posts with my friends. Once you're signed in, click this nine dot menu on the top right. Under the create section, select page. It takes us here to the page builder. Let's say I want to create a business page for my coffee selling website. So I'll add my page name like this. Next, I'll select my page's category as coffee shop from here. Then I'll add a short description for my bio like this. You can also see the preview here on the right. Okay, once you're done, click create page down here. Next, we have to enter the specifics like my site's URL, location, the last section here is for business hours. Since my business is online, I'll select no hours available. Click next. Here, I'll quickly add a profile and cover photo like this. Under that, we have this important add action button option. I'll click it. Now, we need to pick an action for this button. So if you have an app or group, you can use this buy now option to link it with this page. If you want to create your actual shop on Facebook, then you can select view shop. Mine is a coffee selling website, so I'll pick start order and click next. Here, I'll put my site's shop page URL and hit save. Once the pop-up closes, click next. If you use WhatsApp for your business and want to link your number, you can enter it here. I don't have it, so I'll skip it for now. Here is build your audience, where you can invite your friends to like and follow your page. I'll click next and you're done. Next, you need to switch your personal Instagram account to a creator or business account. Go to the profile page and click on the three little lines at the right hand corner of the screen. Select settings and then account type. Then tools. In the next page, click on switch to professional account. Choose between a creator account or business account as you prefer. And then Select the category for your profession. I'm going to choose shopping and retail and your Instagram creator account is now ready. To connect your Instagram account with your Facebook business page, go to the Meta account center and click on connected experiences. Select sharing across profiles and add accounts. Log into your Instagram account, then continue and finish adding all the details. Your professional Instagram account is now connected to your Facebook business page. To create an Instagram ad, you will need to open an account in the Facebook ads manager. So go to this link and then click on this button. To create an Instagram ad, click here on the plus create button and this will open a pop-up that will allow you to decide on the campaign settings. So under buying type, you have two options, auction and reservation. I highly recommend that you keep it as auction as it allows you to practically bid against other Instagrammers that are looking to push similar ads. Next, you need to choose a campaign objective, something that you intend to do with your ads. Since this is the first time you are going to create an Instagram ad for your business, it's best that you choose lead generation. Next, choose a campaign setup type. I'm going to go with the manual leads. In this next page, you need to first decide on a name for your campaign. I'm going to call it this. Now, here are some special categories that I'm not going to change. As they have nothing to do with my business, not much to change here, so I'm going to click next. In this level, you need to determine your target audience and how and where you're going to deliver your ad campaign. Let's first decide on the name of the ad set. I'll call it this. Now, under conversion, you need to determine the channel through which you want to generate your leads. For instance, if you want to generate leads through your website, you can choose the website option. In that way, you can have your Instagram ad take a potential lead directly to your website. For this campaign, I'm going to go with Instant Forms and Messenger. This will get me the leads I want through Forms and Messenger chats. Next, the performance goal is to maximize the number of leads. You may switch on the dynamic creative option here if you want. It's a way of enhancing images and videos of your ad. We also need to decide on the budget and schedule for the ad. I'll choose a two week schedule and then decide further based on its performance. Under locations, you get to decide where your ad will be shown. 
instead of choosing the whole country, I'm going to put a city name here. For the age demographic, let's choose between 18 and 45 years as we have named the ad set. Under gender, you can choose the main demographic you prefer. For our project, we are going to keep it as women. I have kept engaged shoppers under detailed targeting as it aptly describes the shopping behavior of our target audience. In placements, make sure you choose manual placements. Usually, by default, the Facebook ads manager runs the ads on Facebook, Instagram and certain other external locations. However, since we are running this campaign for Instagram, we are going to choose only Instagram here. And as you can see, the ad will appear in the Instagram feeds, stories and reels. Next, we are going to create the main ad that we are going to run for our campaign. For the last stage of our ad creation campaign, we are going to choose a name that fits our Instagram ad. So let's name it new collection ad. Keep the partnership ad off as you don't want to appear with other competing brands. Connect your Instagram account by clicking here. Next, switch off the multi-advertiser ad option. Now here we get to be creative with the look of our ad. Select the images that you want to add to your campaign. In the primary text box, you need to put a description of the ad you're looking to create. You can also choose from the variations of your text that show up here. Make sure you also put in a headline here. I'll also post the link to my website like this. Next, choose a call to action from the drop down here. All right, you need to choose carousel from the options here. Under carousel optimizations, you can keep the add music option selected as Meta will automatically choose an appropriate music byte. Let's add some cards here. Let's put in a headline and description text like this. I think I'll change the call to action button into get offer as that would suggest a hint of upcoming discounts. So there you go. Now your Instagram ad is ready and you can publish it by clicking here. In this window, I'll enter my card details and make the payment and then it should show up in the dashboard like this and you're done. You'll see your ad here and after review, it will go live. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.